Thank you, Madam Speaker. We know that overhousing is an issue that exists in our province. Over the past three years, we have been successful in ensuring that the residents of Gilbert Park are not unfairly treated. However, another senior who has been living in Gilbert Park for 38 years has told me that they are at risk of being evicted from their home because of the need for more units for families. Madam Speaker, I table a news story where the former minister responsible for housing claimed that eviction letters had been sent out in error, and I, cur and I asked the current minister, is this just another error? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Our government is very proud of our record in creating housing uh, for Manitobans, affordable housing. We know the Rent Assist Program has provided more than 3,000 uh, 3,000 individuals are able to be supported by the Rent Assist Program. There's also more than 750 new units, social and affordable, that have been created by this government. So we're very proud of that record. We want to continue work, not just with the federal government, but other levels to create affordable housing solutions for Manitobans. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a supplementary question. Madam Speaker, in addition to receiving a letter of raising his rent, my constituent Mr. Chartran says that his unit needs repairs, but is told by the Gilbert Park property manager that he needs to learn how to deal or fix them on his own or move out. This is unacceptable. The ongoing unfair evictions at Gilbert Park show a track record of disregard and disrespect for people who call it home. Mr. Chartran has been in Gilbert Park for 38 years and is an outstanding, respectful tenant in good standing, but the property manager is unapproachable and uncooperative. What is this minister doing to change management practices at Gilbert Park? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. As the member indicated, when I was the, the minister in respect to this issue, I took the time to call all the residents that are part of that. Our government is all about listening to individuals, listening to people, whether there be issues that come up, and so our government would be more than interested in listening any concerns that would be raised. I can refer that to the minister when the minister, uh, the minister, the current minister of housing. Wow. Okay. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a final supplementary. Madam Speaker, forcing Manitobans to move from place to place when they have done nothing wrong is undignified and isn't healthy. There is unbelievable stress in being told you're getting ev evicted unjustifiably and feeling your concerns but be ignored by those who have been appointed to advocate for you, in this case management at Gilbert Park. Madam Speaker, a stable home is crucial to a healthy life and raising a family. Mr. Chartran and his friends feel as though they are being targeted by management at Gilbert Park. Will the minister agree to meet with Mr. Chartran and work with him to help improve the issues many are having with Manitoba Housing? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, again, Madam Speaker, our government is always interested in listening to people, whether it be in policy items, whether it be things like housing. This is a good example where we've listened to people at Gilbert Park in the past. We're always interested in listening to people. I am very proud of the fact that we have made important investments in housing. As mentioned, there's over 3,000 more people supported than ever before under the former NDP government. For the Rent Assist Program, there's over 750 new social and affordable housing units that our government has created. We want to work with the federal government more to create some housing solutions for Manitobans. <laughs>